Riverlands is a purely government-funded school. A flood last year meant there was no running water for three months and play areas are unsafe from collapsed buildings. Last year they, the WCD cut 2,407 posts, teaching posts, and most of the schools lost educators. We lost one as well, which means that aside from being principal, I must now also teach full time. So um, we don't obviously have the funding to, to appoint someone in that position to do the teaching because we don't get funds in from the, from the parents and from the community. Nevin is a former education inspector. While public schools achieve very low results, private schools achieve similar standards to in France. He takes us to a semi-private school in the same town that receives tuition fees to show us the difference in facilities. He says the inequality he saw was shocking. I remember coming home and reflecting on my day and just reflecting on what just happened. Not having basic infrastructure of just having a toilet or clean water or just food to eat today. Um, that was absolutely shocking and I believe it was just unfair to any learner that we can drive five minutes out of town where we are now and we can see that different contrast. The South African government hosted an education summit with G20 partners pledging to promote equality. The basic education minister said she is raising the issue of underfunding of public schools with the finance minister. We want to make sure that classroom sizes are kept small, at least in terms of the internationally recognised benchmark. We want to make sure that our learners are able to eat at school, make sure that our learners are able to have scholar transport. These things are important for, for poorer communities because these are the things that really affect whether or not children are able to achieve academic excellence or not. Only 37% of South African children starting school go on to pass their matriculation exam.